Sure you don't have prior combat training? Oh. <laughs> there was this one time in a Denny's parking lot. <laughs> If you have watched any of my videos before, then you might know I'm a straight up whore for some A1 graphics. So when I heard news that Red Matter 2 just released and it is capable of reflective transparency, volumetric lighting, and ray tracing, all I can say is that I reached for the wallet in my pocket and whipped it out faster than Jeffrey Tubin after entering a Zoom call. <laughs> Did I forget to mention that I am a massive f***ing space nerd? So, Red Matter 2 could not have possibly looked more appealing to me. But hey, enough of me blabbering. Let's get into the video. Enjoy. Now I'm not going to sit here and waste any of your time. If you want to learn more about Red Matter 2 and hear my honest in-depth review, stick around and watch the rest of this video. But for those of you who just want to know if you should buy the game or not, I'll save you a couple of minutes and get down to brass tacks. Do yourself a huge favor and buy it. All I'm going to say is I haven't been this mesmerized by a VR game since Half-Life Alex. This is one of the best puzzle adventure games that I have ever played. <laughs> Inspecting for c I see. <laughs> it's a trap! Dude, this is look at this. Look at that light interaction, boys. Come on. Ray traced out the literal ass. <laughs> Current selection is your anus. <laughs> what are you doing with your life? <laughs> You're fing sick. Oh fuck. It's actually pronounced a Uranus. What are you Oh my god, dude, it's been days since I've taken a shit. Thank you, Jesus. Chocolate! Chocolate! <laughs> Buddy, you actually have to be kidding me. You can literally, in this game, you can clean toilets in VR. And it's never felt so good. <laughs> oh, come on. You gotta be shitting me. Now that that's out of the way, let's talk about something spicy. Red Matter 2's graphics. You might think that good graphics are defined by crisp, high-resolution textures and extremely dense 3D models packed with detail, but that's only half of the story. The other half involves artistic composition. How is a video game scene staged? How is it lit? What is the main focus of the scene? And what story is it trying to tell you? This game showcases a perfect mixture of high-fidelity graphics, beautifully simple, brutalist architecture meant to emphasize the amazing lighting composition done for this game and an exciting 1960s sci-fi vibe that feels very reminiscent of Star Trek. All of these components blend together so extremely well that, and I cannot state this enough, it genuinely makes you feel like you are there in person. And as I mentioned in the intro, there are some pretty advanced visual tactics being used in this game to truly reinforce that feeling of realism, such as reflective transparency, volumetric lighting, and ray tracing. But the cherry on top is the grabbers. The grabbers that you use to interact with everything in the game are modeled to replicate Oculus 2 controllers. Now when I tell you that this added a level of immersion that I have never experienced before, I'm not f***ing around. <laughs> yeah, that can't be good. Hello! I don't know what it is, but I feel like something happened here. Oh shit, Sherlock. <laughs> oh my god, what the f***? Happened here. I can't believe what I'm seeing. Could you tell who that was an impersonation of? <laughs> we need to find red matter. <laughs> okay. Now this looks like an awful idea that I'm definitely about to participate in. No, don't do it! What the actual ass is this? How do the puzzles feel in this game? The short answer is that they feel really good. I am by no means a fan of puzzles, and I am going to be bluntly honest with you guys. I'm a bit of an ape when it comes to puzzle games. To put it simply, puzzles do not compute in my brain. 
So I was pleasantly surprised by just how much fun I was having with the puzzles in Red Matter 2. I didn't get bored for even a second. The large variety of different kinds of puzzles and the amount of interaction involved in solving them kept me engaged and entertained for the entire 7 hours that I played Red Matter 2 this week. Sure, you get the typical puzzles like pulling and turning levers, pushing buttons, and redirecting power with electrical panels. But there is so much more. For example, you will need to figure figure out how to use solar panels to power a train, laser beams to trigger a fire alarm, crates to prop open doors, a blimp to set shit on fire, and even books to power a massive reactor. I am honestly really surprised by how intricate and yet still solvable and fun a lot of the puzzles in this game are. To top it off, this wide variety of puzzles is spaced periodically throughout the game so nothing ever feels repetitive or boring. Come on you little Push me like a man. Come on, dance with me. Come on, dance with me a little bit, huh? Holy sh**, this is intense. Oh god, please. Come on, baby, come on. Let me live another day. No. Surprise, motherfucker! <laughs> oh god. Little bitch. <laughs> Run a little test. That is deep. That is, in fact, very deep. Nice. Now what about the game mechanics and enemies? I only ran into a couple things that could be considered enemies in this game. One of those things is a turret, which uses a laser-driven targeting system. <laughs> These can be pretty goddamn annoying. <laughs> but the other enemy is what really stole the show for me. It is a humanoid security bot. One that looks so fucking real in VR, I had to take a second to make sure that I wasn't tripping my balls off. I also know from watching the Red Matter 2 trailer that there is a drone enemy. Sadly, I didn't progress far enough in the game to see it. As for game mechanics, you use a grabber tool, which can be toggled between scanning, grabbing, hacking, and a flashlight or energy pistol. You are able to use a jetpack to propel yourself through the environments. Lastly, there is also a gravity pull mechanic for picking up items, much like in Half-Life Alex. This is how you 3D print a f eyeball, okay? <laughs> Welcome to the future. Cuh. Right over yondeth. You just gotta mosey on over here and uh, go ahead and shove this right in there. What the hell are you talking about? There you go, beautiful. <laughs> Close that right up. Are you following me? Are you keeping up with me? Okay. Next. And now you fist this big yellow button. Come on, dude. How are you just gonna 3D print a fing eyeball? <laughs> Ooh, yeah, baby. Some final comments before I end the video. Even though I never played the original Red Matter game, I didn't have a hard time following the story of Red Matter 2. Obviously, there were some gaps that needed to be filled, but it definitely didn't ruin the game for me. The soundtrack and sound effects for this game are amazing. I had an extremely fun time while playing Red Matter 2. I would highly recommend this game to anybody that owns a VR headset. It is truly a unique VR experience that makes me all that much more excited to see where VR development will go in the future. Anywho, I hope you enjoyed the video. Remember to stay hydrated, touch some grass, go for a nice little nature walk, be kind to yourself, and most importantly, enjoy your weekend. I will see you guys on the next video. Bye.